facing the fall tonight. They're hitting the pause button on the fall sports calendar in the state of Florida. Just days after voting to continue as scheduled, the Florida High School Athletic Association board is changing course tonight. News for Jack Sports anchor Cole Peppers here. Cole, what led to the change? Well, Joy, it was pretty clear after Monday's board meeting that coaches, athletic directors, and county administrators were not particularly pleased with the lack of guidelines from the FHSAA. It appears that many board members tonight felt the same way. So after a 10 to 5 vote on Monday to keep the fall sports calendar intact tonight, an 11 to 4 vote the other way. Here's what they decided. Today, the 15-member board voted to push the start of sports back until August the 24th, nearly a month later than the previous decision. That date could be pushed back again depending on how the coronavirus numbers look. The board will hear further input from committees, including the Sports Medicine Advisory Committee, by August the 17th. All of this means there will be no games before September the 7th, which means the Bolt City Showcase will be postponed. More on that later. Just like Monday, though, tonight's meeting was impassioned with several board members pulling no punches. It is a serious overreach on our part if we, when we start telling each school district how they should deal with their student population. And this is, not, this is unlike anything we've dealt with. So, yes, we do govern school districts when it comes to athletics. We don't tell school districts how to determine whether their kids can come to school. We don't tell school districts how to determine whether their kids can participate in sports as long as they are eligible. What is the priority here? Is the priority football or is the priority our student safety? For me, the priority is our student safety. And I cannot, I, I, I said it when I made the motion, I am loath to reject the advice and guidance of, of medical professionals who have taken the Hippocratic Oath. Of the 396 public schools, 359 are not starting on July 27th. They have pushed back their start date because it's a local decision right now. They have pushed back their start date either to a definite date or indefinitely, and it's to be announced. 37 schools out of 396 are ready to go on Monday, July 27th in three or four days from now. I don't think that's representative of a body of an association that represents an entire state to say that our teams should be ready to go or should be out there on July 27th. One of the big points of contention in tonight's meeting was how a delay in the fall sports schedule would impact winter and spring sports. And there's no way to tell that for now. However, if the fall sports schedule is pushed back again, it's likely that some schools could see teams playing into December and beyond.